find your way up these cobbles and doing that right now is Wout van Aert. He knows that everybody must feel, follow. It's Christophe Laporte who's following van Aert right now. Ke Caleb Ewan who's trying to do that as well. Behind the trying to hang on. But Wout van Aert and Christophe Laporte putting in a two-up team time trial at the moment that's looking brilliant. These cobbles are hard enough on a dry day. Today it's been wet and windy and miserable. They're covered in bits of mud. They're slippy. The stones are horrible. Laporte is trying to hang on. His teammate Fanart is grinding up. And the gap's over a minute now. They're enjoying this, Adam, and I think they're going to enjoy the running all the way in. They don't need to keep the pressure on. They have an enormous lead. What a ride by these two riders. Christophe Laporte and Wout Van Aert come to the line together. But by the looks of it, it'll be Christophe Laporte who crosses the line first, second one year ago to Vidiam Gamay, and taking the 85th edition of Gemwevelgem, Christophe Laporte, and a dominant display by Jumbo Visma. What a ride by these two. Last up. Fonard tries to follow him. Pogaccia turns up for business. It's chaos going uphill from the station on those rattly cobbles. Nine seconds, they're trying to bridge up. We knew that it was Alpacine versus Yombo. It's Act 2 now. of the hardest meters in professional cycling and here comes the best climber of the lot Tadej Pogacar on the front on a bit of road he knows he can make them hurt he can make it hard it's Pogacar in the gutter for the pool on his wheel 400 meters up to 20 percent and we have the famous four breaking away from those who are passengers attacking as they go under the first cobble of the Quadramont. Out goes for Hoidonk again. Backwards follows him, Kral, and it's Tadej Pogacar here at the front, taking it to those top two cobbled racers on their very own terrain. You have to hand it to him, whether it comes off or not. Fanart and Mohoric started to lose their little climbs bit by bit, but we know that Fanart there is working at it meter by meter. Kral and for Hoidong who is there and this is brilliant it just goes and goes and goes and Pogacar is never afraid of putting down the power steeper part of this towards the top as well when you're riding it on TV it doesn't look like a lot but it just ramps up only 4% 5% you can just see it going up but at this point in the climb on Van Aert, it's rare that you see him looking down and with he's almost gasping for the air to get back into his lungs in this part of the, the dual carriageway. And here we go, let's see, because it's Fanar who decides to make his move. Has he been waiting? Is this the moment? I'm not sure. We will see the minute Pogacar can follow.
He is. And here goes Tadej Pogacar. Tadej Pogacar makes his move with 3.4 kilometers to go. We knew he had to try. We knew he had to move. There's a reaction and the first attack is brought back. The cat and mouse games have started with just over three kilometers to go. We go to one and a half kilometers to go. Another twist, a left hand turn this time. And it's Van der Poel leading for now. Pogacar just leaving that room, isn't he? We wait, he goes, he's up onto the pedals, and he moves. Left of the road this time, they have to react for a second time. Father Paul tries to get there, he's on the wheel. Pogaccia sits down, he knows he's unable to wriggle away for a second time. And it's Pogaccia who launches the sprint early. Pogaccia trying to surprise them. Father Paul coming through the center. Fanart hitting the front now on the right hand side. It's Watt Fanart trying to defend his title. It's wheel to wheel. It's a big battle, but it's Watt Fanart who wins it. Watt Fanart, the first man to defend his title here in over a decade.